Oh, yeah. PPG? A uh, PGG? I remember uh, like Hellraisers back in those days, obviously Hellraiser. But uh, the thing about Vanguard is it, it um, builds into Crimson, and Crimson is insanely valuable against Lifesteader and Magnus. Bottom first blood, by the way. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's a possibility top as well, like Naive is being kept around the half HP mark at all times. Every time he steps up, they apply the pressure. Yeah. Well, Raph and H Bottom. will just sell the kill. Why arise yeah. when you can just press one button and wow, they'll come now yeah. because he realizes they need the bonus kill. And uh, yep. that sprout will be enough for him to get the final yeah. click out of the chest. Damn, this nature drop deals so much damage. Like, it's Sarah gonna look for a big kill. No, they don't want to kill the Lina, they want to kill something big. Maybe the Magnus, maybe the Lysir. Let's see if they TP top, maybe. I mean, if you just um, beat the crap out of the beast, it can work. That guy's yeah. gonna oh, move top up for the top lane. Orchid already, but. Naive too quick to move away. RP dragging him in. The punishment to come out. RP stolen. Milan will get it off, but it's too late. They've already lost the nature's profit. They need to retreat. Someone screaming happily. You're also going to be happy. Mid Abaddon <laughs> being gone on again. I'm, I'm, I'm not falling for it anymore. Yes. <laughs> Pull me oh, once. J4. Shame on you. Oh, J4 pulls himself, though. Time dilation. Slow him down. Skitter says, come here. I want a hug. But he won't get it. Varanya hits way too hard. 200 damage already on this Prophet. It's a little bit greedy out there alone. They are rapping oh, Skeeter. though. Skeeter. Oh. Primal Roar. They do jump onto Milan. But the Chrono's going to go down to save the day. Cheshire Cat the target. I don't know if they have enough damage to bring him down. They need some reinforcements. The buyback comes out from Fada. Milan able to move away. Sans going to go out to make sure that Magnus cannot kill him off though. Lifted up in the air. Drag back. BKB. Skewer across. Looking for the kill onto Milan alone. Who's wasting more of his time and he might not even get it. Shockwave will finish off the kill, but where are you for the rest of this fight, Abaddon? Trying to sidestep, has got his ultimate pop. The Aegis gets taken away for Rania. Stand his ground, able to heal up though. The Phonic Shield to protect him. Kilga trying to break through him, but he can't. Not enough damage, he won't be able to find the kill. And now Shadow Demon trying to do it too, will be able to bring him down. Free for free exchange. Well, that was the that buyback, dieback from yeah, Fada. Well. Oh, like 33. Is <laughs> it going to be like, a third time? I mean, he's like, yep. as long as they're here, they're nowhere else, right? <laughs> The rest of my team can just farm. He's had enough. He's actually gone in. This may be a little bit too greedy. Skewed away from his teammates. Primal Roar goes out onto Fada. He has got the cookie to try and move away, though. And the axes are the only thing that Milan's able to steal. On the side, RP is going to be used. Yours as well. As the borrowed time runs out, 33 is dead. Skeeter bottom. Skeeter bottom. Chrono knife, though. Good move on two ends of the map. Perfect play. They trade the Abaddon for the life stealer. That's a pretty smart move. These Mud Golems guys, they're pretty pretty good at the game. I think. You still got to worry about that Aegis. Yeah, yeah. Naive close to his assault. Naive close but to death. Skitter's got Chrono. Found him. Sees it, goes straight for it. He did get the rage off, so the bash damage will at least be reduced somewhat, but the damage is way too high. He's gone. It's, it's way too high. The, the NP coming in with this the contribution Kluver. wink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, I mean, one hit is enough to finish him. All right. How many kisses are enough? I don't, I don't know if these uh, supports want any more kisses. No, yep. no, that's not how this works. We're a team. Please. Yeah, now your throne is getting pummeled on your uh, RPs and cooldown, but uh, really, like he's finished his BKB, he's finished his basher. Mio has tools, but they it's don't have and the throne is going to go. Oh, GG. GG, game one, mod golem. Oh man, they just make... She doesn't care, I think DP has to really, really look out. Um, position like as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but I still like the Ember safe line. I, th I still like it. Uh, it's really good against Darkseer, and it combos really well with Inkswell um, from Not the Grimstroke. Ah, oh, that's true, that's true. He is dead. Don't. That's the dead. Got many random interactions in Dota, but that's just Dota. There's random interactions everywhere. Um, and you have to play around it. So you don't think it's maybe a little bit strong in the mid lane situation around the minute four runes? It is strong because you can you can get both runes. Um, oh, Mio with the roar especially. Is not oh, looking you know. strong though. Baranya, he's had enough. He's like, get the freaking hell out of my lane. You have no place here. Yup. And that's what happens when you go 2 3 0. Buyback. For the XP, what? for the XP, for the XP, for the XP. Ah, oh, right. It's he's like, he's like mm, I will get level 6, I will get raw, and that won't happen. Again. And he can punish you the Grimstroke, he can also punish you, and even the Ember Spirit, he can punish you. Like, there's a lot of catch for you, and you've got to play around all those heroes. And Mid Tower is being gone on Mio. They're going for him, he's starting stop. He didn't get the true form out yet. He'll activate it now, which will bulk him up a decent amount, but I don't think it's enough to deter them. They're going to keep on going. Rupture's going to come out of Piranha. The damage being dealt. Mio brought low, will be killed off, and they'll chase ball for more because they've got the Siphons going. J4 and Gilga will hit the deck. And what looked like an easy tower take in the end is going to backfire and lead to your own tier one in the mid dying, along with three of your heroes. One who now that Lundra is not here, though, you need to be very yeah. careful. Fata's going to come up. Very careful. 
I think he doesn't have to be ah. careful. He's got nothing to worry about. Dead people have yep. no worries. Rock's just going to come out. But Gilga's in trouble anyway. There's no way to save the tiny now on the side. The roll's across. Treasure can't controlled off by Milan. Soulbind's going to be thrown out. He also buys some time. Naive is going to be start up. He's actually now run away. As Barani's going to chase forward with the Exodus. Looking to bring him down quick enough. Blood right to try and start him up. But Barani's way too fast on top of Naive. Will force out the second remnant. Now look to retreat. J4 is being ignored for the moment. They might just turn around and take the easy kill though. As they'll roll in. Baranya will arrive and he'll be able to clean up the Grimstroke. Well played. Man, this poor Nia. Yeah, I... so exactly. Yeah. And they're also so slow efficient with portraits. Milan is hunt. Now, he's I just been this... watching all the shark movies before he came into this series. Silence. He's thrown out the like, Boy, this... doesn't care. He's just playing with them all. The problem is they it's use this. the Exorcism, they need value. And Milan's going to try and force it. He goes in with the Magnetize right away. Blood right isn't going to clip onto him, though, as he rolls out in time. And on the side, Mio. Oh, this is so messy. Mio is really separated from the fight. He's in a lot of trouble. The bear is not with him. The sun is going to come out. The BKB activated. The ghosts are returning, but the damage might already be done. The vacuum in and drags him across, but he's healing up. Going to be able to actually sustain through this. Man avoided by time as well. Mio stands his ground. Barania needs to move away. They're already lost the dark, so they'll chase forward, looking forward onto Barania as well. Who's hiding in the pit or oh. for other sons, but they have got the roots to lock him on the spot and kill him off. And with oh that, my God. I mean, they just got gifted Roche. Fata, one slide of fists, 50% HP gone. Roll in. Oh. They're going to force out the true form. Milan will look to walk away and we'll be able to do so. But the bear's hot in pursuit and the roll away gets blocked by Gilgis. It's where the hell are you going? You belong to us now. They force out Baranya's ultimate and his BKB, but now he needs to move away. They force the fire back out of Milan. They might have repelled them for the moment. But you've just used the exorcism. The problem is now the onus is on you. If you do not make a move as the radiant size of mud golems, you're in trouble. And they yep. actually get forced into a mistake. Milan rolls out into his death. That's going to be his dieback. And well, what what does that mean? That means you die in under one second. Palma death, which is what Fada's going to get as well. The Sanus is end. Fireback's going to come out. Vacuum is big with the wall, but Varanya leads together. He needs to retreat. I'm not sure if he can get away, though. These illusions are working against him. He's gone. Yup. And I think Here with that, the chances of winning their game are slivering into the dark as well. This may only be one lane, but you've got to ask yourself a question. How long are Khan going to stay away if they even decide to leave this base? And uh, it doesn't look like no, they no. might. 33, they, gone. They just, I think they just go bottom right now, but they, they don't actually have to go bottom. 21, 22, not 29. So he was only one number off. No. Oh, roll out is not going to be successful. You also try and dodge it out, but BKB is going to be forced. And the Soulbind is there with a the rupture. They've already lost Baranya, and they're going to lose more of the vacuum. 33 trying to carry as best he can. They're going to move in, commit all resources to this fight because they have no real choice here, but it's not going to work. AM is down, buyback comes out from Baranya, and the rest of Mud Golems are in full retreat. But I don't know no, if it's going to be successful. 33 has been rooted up. They decide against it. They go, nope. Easier target on the side. Bring Fada down and then just hit buildings. They have nothing left in the chamber. Yep. And these guys from Dyer are too tanky. But yeah, it's trying to go in. Has I, ready, but... it's, it's desperate. It's very desperate. And you can feel it. Yep. And that might just be the GG moment. There it is. It comes out. We're going to finally have a game free here in the playoffs of BTS Pro Series Season 3. Maybe an unexpected one. You know, when you looked at game one, when you looked at the dominant performance of Mudgol, yeah. I don't think anyone yeah. saw... Ultra late. Or we could go um, a timing push. A timing... Uh, well, not a timing push. Um, just PA pick kind of... kind of oh, kill gear. Oh, oh, you don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's weighing it up. He says Avalanche will get me out in one piece. Easy. A uh, slight mistake from Milan. He didn't uh, disrupt there. A uh, Fata also didn't skill. I, I, I think they were just... Oh, my God. Oh no, button. are they getting? They're gonna get this one. I mean, J4 has no way out. He's leveled the stroke of fate as you always do on a Grim Stroke, which means he's going down. And they leave it for Ranya as well. Oh I, my I love that God. moment at the oh end God. where J4's like, wait, why they leave? Oh no, 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 don't feed me to him. You fall back to the argument we well, have a tiny. You guys yeah. here will get a blink dagger and make plays happen. Um, mm. But if you let him get too fat, too many, ex too much XP, too many levels early on, like who's your kill, really? Top lane. Yeah. Kill's gonna happen on J4, Milan. Might die for it, but Naive is trying to bring him down. 33. He's going to throw out the urn. He's got the one, so you could actually get the shockwave out. He'll go for it and get the kill. That was Huge. the metamorphosis, by the way. Yeah. This isn't like the TB patches where we've seen them go to jungle at level two, right? Or like when it's Nisha TB, and you know that 20 minutes later it'll be okay. Like Dota yeah. right now, compared to a year ago, is so much faster and so yeah. much more easily punished.
Skidder. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to punish him right now, and they will be able to find it at the end. Mew needs to be careful. He's out of mana, but they haven't got the plus one to kill him, so Farda's now in trouble himself. Doesn't get rid of the Phantom's Embrace on him. Instead, he tried to bring down Cheshire Cat, but dies for it. Link. Oh, and they're yeah. going to the same target again. Farda will at least break it, though. So he'll tank the gank. Moving away with the Simulate. Actually stands his ground because the TPs are coming in. They're going to look to turn around on Mio. Ball lighting away, though. However, they have the level 2 Astral Step. Two charges are about to be rocks. available. Movement in. Silence. Needs to be careful. Pull back away as soon as he sees that TB. However, Soulbind's thrown out. Trying to chase for Kyoga. Chasing him with the Ink Swell. But the Remnant and the Disruption to make sure he cannot get on top of them. And Cheshire Cat does get the Poison Over off. But it's only level 1. 33. Has got the RP to play with. Doesn't want to throw it out willy-nilly, though. We'll just back up. Use the Guardian Greaves and retreat. Elusiveness of, uh, of like a Magnus RP. Naive, he might explode if he's not careful. They're gonna catch him out. BKB scare jumps in straight away to try and burn him down quick enough. Sunder onto the illusion to run away though. Storm has some nearby, but that will not stop Skidder from pursuing here. Kyoga used the avalanche too soon. Kisses follow up on a naive. In a little bit of trouble, able to move away. They don't have the range to kill him off. They'll take the tiny instead, move forward on the Cheshire Cat next. They're able to force stuff up to the high ground. So it looks like he'll also get away with this. DD empower PA. One or two crits, even TB could just melt. He yep, lives. Exactly. So now they're going to go in. Straight away. Stars comes out. Piranha. The controller's on top of him. He's in a little bit of trouble. Needs to escape this. and he'll be able to do it. Dissimulate. Looks to escape. Stands his ground. Cuts through. Up to the high ground. For out everything before dying. Now he's BKB still running in the meantime. Skidder's going to be so bad and enough. And he's on his own on the side. Milan being zoned away. Glimmer Cape to try and escape. He can't get the haste though. 33 says I need that. See you later. And on the side. Skidder yep. trying to run away. The long way around. We'll have to give oh him my a I mean he's not dying as quickly as they'd like. But look at they the wraparound. Up, no. They're coming. Or? They want to fight this. They need to be careful about how they do this. Skidder will BKB and look to stand his ground. Now force them away. Where do you go? You need to actually go to low ground. He pings at 33. Saves the day. Farda able to move away the Glimmer Cape. Chase Ford. Mio's now and mana needs to be careful. Ink Swell being slowed though by the Scout Blast. As he toss away Farda. Essentially saving his life here. And he'll turn around and give it over. He says no more kills for you. Who starts the fight? You at least have the basher, so you have some potential stun. They toss him back. Skidder has to BKB. That's not the way you want to begin this. And he's looking for a target straight away. In under the Storm Spirit. Falls out the BKB. Soulbind comes out. Linking the two together. They need to run, but they can't. The dragon's going to be on the PA, and now he's going to be brought down and dead. Neo, BKB smokes. still running. He's not a target. They'll go for Gilgra instead. Cut him on the way out. Fana knows he's going to die, though, for it. Double kill for Naive. The problem here is you use the metamorphosis, and Roche is not up for 30 more seconds, so you won't be able to find that objective separate one member from the team. Yeah, and now, Tiny got a buyback. Yeah, yeah, it is. No meta right now, but it's up in 20 and he's got the DD, so he can still kind of fight. Tiny's Tiny is... And he's gone. J4 gets crit. All right. He has no buyback. That might be the side of Khan having to concede here. Maybe they try for a yoink with a Storm Spirit, but that might be your only play. They've got RP. Is... This is the dangerous part, though. If you gamble on this and you die as a Storm, uh, it's going to be a lot more than just an Aegis going in their hands. Avalanche tossed way too early from Gilga. Is going to be punished straight away. He gets brought down. And that should be an abort from Khan. They're going to back away from the pit and admit that Mud Golem's got what they came for. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're... An empowering Magnus, right? Like, it's just stats. Yeah. Get as many stats as possible. Jump in. Oh, straight away. Mio, no bash, though. He has no abyssal Ooh. yet as well. Nope. Oh. He's just charging in. He doesn't care. He's going to try and force the fight. Naive holding on to that Metamorphosis, though. And then she's going to look to move away. BKB, Skidder is forced to stand and fight on the sideline. Gilga interrupts oh, no. any counter-initiation. They've already lost the Aegis. Now you've done half HP. He's going to use the BKB now, but now you're in trouble on Skidder. He's looking to move away with the Phantom Strike. The Soulbite is going to come out, dragging them in and leashing them together, which means PA is going to be brought down. But Ranya needs to run for the high heels, but Gilga's already covering it. He retreats into no dark buyout. territory, looking to move away. We'll be able to get out, but big mistakes made by the side of Mud Golems. No buyout, and again, the Venomancer, these Plague Wards, they uh, don't allow Magnus to RP. He's gone <laughs> in two seconds. <laughs> oh, that's how it is. Well, the outpost being taken by Gilgir. Yeah, but you uh, might regret that. Oh boy, Here come found. the kisses. Mwah, Granny saying goodnight. Ball lighting in, but the Hex is there. They ambush him straight away, trying to bring him down, dragging him back. He gets stunned on the high ground by the cookie. He's gone for 80 seconds. Naive now in trouble himself. Tries to dodge out the remnant. Not successful, though. Stunned up, killed off on the oh deck God. for 85. And all of a sudden, Mudgorms don't have to figure about Roche. They can figure about your base because they're not done there. They find Cheshire Cat as well. They force the rest of them in their base. They force out the buyback instantly. And by the way... 
No buyback on TB. The rush is it's gonna be lights out for for Khan, I think. So yeah, Khan are putting in everything they got. There's an Ags on that baby as well. Plenty of heroes in this game that would like to get that big shiny scepter. Yep. Cookie doesn't connect. Mio goes in, initiates straight away, but the turnaround straight on him, Storm's gone. They'll be able to bring down the voice for as well. Buyback comes out from Mio. Skidder will just look to retreat away. The kiss has come out on the Gilga down to half HP, but Fana needs to retreat. Elon this does get proc. Buyback comes out from Voice Spirit as they start to move into Radiant Territory. And on the side, Miranya going in. Look at this pick off on the J4, keeping away from the main fight. Naive brought low in the meantime, but he loses him himself. And the push is slowing down. BKP has to be activated. Thunder thrown out of Cheshire Cat. And now they're going to chase for a little bit more. They kill off the Storm Spirit with his dieback now. And situations looking dire for Khan as they're going to lose Naive as well. Cheshire Cat's going to fall. And Skidder says, Where? is my rampage oh there, there it is. is pretty easy and uh, that's it that's it storm spirit died two times instantly tb GG. couldn't really hit people gg is called insane performance for milan in this last fight should have been controlled terrorblade insanely well and that was a oof, a wild roller coaster for mud golems in the end they did it but whoa they fought hard